Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another jam-packed, fun, badass episode. Today, we're gonna be walking, not taking the bus, but we're gonna be walking to El Parque de Santa Lucia. Now, it turns out that I just gotta go to the Centro and um, right next, you know, there's a store right next to Parque de Santa Lucia I gotta go pick something up at. So, I decided, you know what, let me just, uh, let's do a different kind of episode today. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be flipping this thing around and uh, I'm gonna be showing you just uh, my point of view, all right? And I'm just gonna be spitting out whatever thoughts are on my head, all right? So, <clears throat> you know, right off the bat, you know, today is November 6th okay and it's um 2019 and right now it's um about 88 degrees it's nice it's chill uh more chill for medida standards but um it's actually again it's like 2 p.m in the afternoon 2 15 so you know right now would be the hottest point in the day you know give or take usually around 2 3 p.m is around the hottest uh, points in the day Right here are the local radio stations. Um, these are the galleries, as you guys can see. Little places popping up every single day. See, brunch. They got uh, all kinds of uh, pan dulce. Little bakery, seems like a little coffee shop, little bakery. Soho galleries. More galleries, another gallery here. You guys already know where we are. So we're gonna be walking down Calle 60 all the way till we get to Parque Santa Lucia, all right? It's so about a 20 minute walk, uh, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, so I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, so you know, just giving you a quick little update on what uh, the weather is, you know, what the time is, you know, all that stuff to give you guys a little perspective. Um, it's actually is cooling down, which is great. It's great that it's cooling down. The weather is cooling down. As you guys remember, this summer was very, very hot. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's also, you know, cloudier. And you see when the sun comes out, you know, look at this huge shadow. You know, usually around this time, you know, it's only a shadow the size of the sidewalk, give or take. Um, but the time change was just like a week and a half ago, give or take. So, you know, it's a little... Um, um, you know, we're all still like um, trying to get over that you're gonna be watching this this weekend probably saturday you might be watching this this saturday today's the sixth and eight and nine so you'll be watching this probably like on the ninth give or take right and um you know by this point i had already filmed another episode that was a walk and talk that i uploaded on thursday and um that episode i actually filmed in october and i've just been you know you know there was so much other stuff that i needed to to film and create that I decided um, you know to push it back till this Thursday um, and then on Friday you saw a day in the life of me you saw a day in the life of Jose the artist living out here in Merida you know just one one of the days of one of the things that I do and then today you're watching this so hope you guys are enjoying <laughs> all right so as you guys know the little church there All the kids are out of school already. So yeah, these are all the trucks, you know, taking everybody where they need to go. That's a school bus here. There's no school bus. The school bus here is the actual bus. And that's it. And that's it. Everybody's going home now. Again, like two something. The kids, kids get out here pretty early. The kids out here get out early. So they've already been out for like, uh, I think I want to say like two hours or an hour. I want to say that they get out like around noon. They might get out like around noon or one o'clock. That early. Every day. Every day is early release day out here. Um, that's Parque Santa Ana, which, um, you know, you guys see me hang out there from time to time. We've already done videos out there. You know, you guys know a lot of this area. I'm just uh, giving you this point of view. We're trying um, new content. New videos, the whole deal, all right? And um, yeah, so today I'm just, uh, you know, giving you 
I don't even know what I've been saying, but just random stuff. Silver. You guys already know about the silver. I gotta go in that store one day. With the camera. Uh, assuming they'll allow me to go in there. Oh, the sun is hot. It is hot. All right. So again, we're just walking down Calle 60. Nothing, nothing major. Trying to get to the parque now. I guess um I, I guess I should just uh man that's loud huh so I guess I should give you guys a little bit of a background on uh El Parque de Santa Lucia so um when we get there I'll walk around El Parque Santa Lucia a little bit all right obviously you know because I think that's going to be the title of today's episode you know uh just uh, giving you a tour walking around Parque Santa Lucia so anyways yeah Parque Santa Lucia basically the reason I'm kind of just covering it even though it's a small tiny little thing is because you know a lot of tourists they come out here um, a lot of you guys you know for the most for the most part even me included you know when we were first out here it's one of the main places where you get taken it's very 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 tourist heavy so you know um you know you'll go there and uh, you're going to be spending the most you're going to be spending in mexico you know what i mean but it's kind of like you, you know you should at least go there you don't have to buy anything there but you know you don't have to necessarily buy anything there but it doesn't mean that you can't go there and um i'm gonna at least uh, give you guys uh i'm gonna at least uh, show you guys around a little bit because you know maybe you know some of you guys out there um might not uh necessarily want to go there or might want to go there real quick or what have you and i can maybe just save you a trip so you know this video could be a trip saver one way or the other you know meaning it could make you decide one to go or not want to stay around here or not but this area you know which i'm taking you to which i'm already in we're almost there um which is the you know the area where uh Parque, Parque santa lucia is you know this is mainly like the one of the most touristy areas in its centro I mean, this is basically, you know, where the fanciest places are, and um, and I'm not talking about fancy like a uh, five star. I'm just talking about, you know, you like you, you're probably gonna find your most prime hotel in this area. You're probably gonna find uh, a little bit of overpriced restaurants and food in this area. You know, that kind of like in a sense some um, help or take advantage of the of the, the the weary traveler and what i mean by take advantage just meaning that it's the closest place it's an open place and tourists just got here it's nothing bad but it's like you know it's one of those things that for anyone that's traveled before a lot of you guys sometimes you know you'll get to a place you know you when you're traveling there you're it's late it's, you're tired you know you go out and there's some sort of partying stuff going on and then you see everything's crazy expensive and um then subsequently days after that you know every other every other trip that you take you know is, is extremely cheap and for whatever reason that first night is sometimes really expensive so you know again today is just to like kind of show you that area you know because you know again you know you might get here the first night and um some of you guys might go to like the grungy taqueria which is a few blocks down but some of you people might not you know feel that comfortable to do that yet some of you guys might want to you know just stick you know maybe you guys are tired it could be a lot of things and you guys just want to you know just hang out in a place that's like within uh stone's throw from your hotel where you can uh you know just uh, get something to eat and it seems a little bit more familiar and helps the it helps you with um the process it helps you with the process. Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm still recording. Hold on a second. One second. All right. Okay, let's keep. Okay, so it will help you with the process, the transition, the transitioning process of uh, you know coming from let's say you know Europe or um, you know the U.S. of A. and then coming to a place that uh, all of a sudden you know is very different. So 
you might want something that's a little bit kind of like in the between before you know going uh dipping your whole foot in there i hope i hope this shit makes sense you know it's funny a lot of times a lot of times i'm just talking and i'm like man does this even make any sense what the hell am i saying blah 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 but you know when i look back at the video i'm like oh you know i'm actually kind of glad i said what i said or did what i did so you know whatever anyway so you know we're literally in the heart of the touristy central area um literally you see where those buses are in the background that's where the park is so you guys can already see the shops all right so this place is awesome this area is great it is a great start to your Medida adventure if that's uh you know if you're coming out here to just uh, travel or what have you so as you guys can see there's a money exchange you know there's already a hotel right there you know um fancy little cafeterias you know a little a deli type place a bank all and this is like a scotty bank which is like hsbc you know for most travelers and then this is the park you know you guys already know parque santa lucia we've been here before today we're just highlighting you see like the tourist buses you know everything's coming through here you see you see free wi-fi there's free wi-fi in this park as well I was waving, nobody was uh, impressed. But anyways, so you know, this is it. This is just Parque Santa Lucia right here. You got the birdies. You guys know, on the weekends, you know, they have like little market here. You know, people pop up and they sell stuff here too. Um, let me see. Here, look, how about this? This will give you a better idea. Hopefully, you guys can see there. So, again, that's like $10. $10, you know? So that's expensive, you see? But it's all right. It's all right, you know, for a first, you know, for at least a one time deal. You see? They have all kinds of like events out here and all that stuff. There's, there's music in the background. I hope it doesn't get in the way. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they have like events out here and all this stuff. I remember I came out here and again, it's like when this is like at nighttime, it's popping. It's really nice. It's really cool. It's it's amazing. And, um, you know, you get to, you know, come to a really, man, that music is killing it. Hold on a second. Well. about that just that that music was a uh, very popular music pop music so i could not uh kind of mask it but anyway this is like the iconic um thingamajiggy here you see that's the iconic thing see look at that and then that's it that's the park guys so again you know this is a place where um, you know, you can come out here for like the first time, you know, the first night and um, you know, the first night I came to Merida, this is where I came. I came to this exact park and um, you know, I actually ate at that restaurant. I didn't go to that restaurant. I didn't eat there actually. I drank there. I went there and I had my first drink ever. You know, literally I got off the plane, got here and then I went to that place right behind me and I remember I had a couple drinks and it cost me like 10 bucks or three drinks I think and like really expensive shit and it came down to like $10 or something and to me I was like wow that's awesome that was really you know cheap that was this that was that but then you know I realized after being here a month I could get a whole bottle for that price you know or at least half a bottle whatever but you know it's all it's all good you know what I mean it's not like it's crazy expensive but you know it, it is when you all of a sudden realize that there's other places out here that will for the same for literally like you know you saw there were prices of drinks here that were like you know 60 pesos give or take you know 80 pesos for a drink and there's plenty of places that are like that that i've shown you but you know uh, there's other places out there that'll give you two beers and and no, they'll give you one beer and two shots of mezcal for like 50 bucks 50 pesos which is like two dollars and 50 cents so you know there's there's obviously better options out there as well but you know this is not like a bad place but you know you're coming out here to eat like more americanized food and you're not going to really come out here to eat like authentic mexican food in fact you know what let me show you 
let me show you where you're going to get some uh, authentic uh, Mexican cuisine. Um, which again, it's not the most authentic, but if it's your first night here, and by the way, it's, it's right across the park, all right? If you guys notice, I'm right here in the park area. So, these are the buses. It's already rush hour. It's already about to start rush hour, guys, you know? Starts out a little earlier here. But anyways, you come all the way out here. You know, again, you, you pass this. You pass all this stuff here. So I had my first drink here, but then I ate somewhere else. But regardless, I came and I did a video here. I gotta do another video. I'm in the fucking sun, this sucks. But anyways, look, that place right there, La Chaya Maya. And they have a couple out here. They have several of them down here in downtown, whatever. But man, it's a lot of buses, look at that, huh? But this place right here. I gotta come out here and do another video out here. Look at this, look at this. Crazy, huh? All right, let's cross the street real quick. So yeah, this place right here. The Chaya Maya. And um, yeah, it's a great place, guys. You know, I highly recommend it. And uh, see, look, there it is. I'm gonna see if I can link at the end of this video the video I came out here it was like one of my first days out here but uh yeah so you know this is like you know stuff right here in this area is a little bit more expensive but it's okay you know what I mean like it's not like it's crazy expensive you know in relative terms it's just expensive for Merida Mexico you know it's expensive for certain things but it's not expensive I'm telling you it's not and it's totally worth it if you're gonna be staying out here and in this area it's it's a great spot you know I would highly recommend I would highly recommend that you know not only do you you know stay out here but again check this place out you don't have to stay in this area but you know if you're coming out here just doing the touristy stuff it's not necessarily a bad idea <coughs> because everything will be within walking distance all right so as you guys can see there's El Parque de Santa Lucia um, literally where I started walking where I started walking was Paseo Montejo. So Paseo Montejo is like where I started my walk. And I was like, you know, already a few blocks into Paseo Montejo. I was just walking through the streets. But I'm just so you can get an idea how far we are from Paseo Montejo when you, if you're staying in this area. You know what I'm saying? That's a hotel over there, you know, just things like that. So, you know, you stay here and you're gonna be in walking distance, you know, all of everything, you know, literally. Um, so it's, it's a great spot. If you're just coming out here to do the touristy thing, it might be the best, you know, for your mess, 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 it might be the best bang for your buck. And that's it. And like I said, you know, here you got, you know, everything you need for, for touristy stuff. You know what I mean? Rent the car, you know, art, artisanal stuff. You got the money exchange. You got all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? So this is the place that you would, um, you know, would love to stay. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great area, you know? And um, here's a UPS store. You know, there's many of these places out here because uh, we were talking about this in the live chat. So anyone out there watching, got to get me a P.O. box. So, you know what? I might come through here on the way back and figure out the... Um, the P.O. Box thing since I'm already here. But regardless, you know, I want somewhere. Anyway, yeah, forget it. I don't want to talk about the P.O. Box. But anyway, so the point is, is like, you know, right there's a Centro, Socalo, and everything. Everything you want and need is in this area. So, you know, with that being said, uh, well, we got to walk a little more. I'm, I'm still getting there. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm hoping you're enjoying today's video. As you guys can see, the further we walk into the Centro, you know, that's where all the touristy stuff is. You know, there, there's a museum, the University of the Yucatan, but you can walk in there, you know, and I've shown you guys in other videos. I'm sure if you guys seen a lot of my videos, you guys see me walk in there and just, you know, it's a really nice atrium. It's fucking beautiful. It's nice. Um, just like, you know, all these other buildings, you know, the churches, the museums, everything, everything about Merida. So the thing is, you know, remember, Merida is not Cancun. When you're coming out here, if you're coming to Merida, you're coming out here for, um, you know, in order to experience, you know, things like art, culture, museums, music, you know, like symphonies, you know, all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's really, that's what this place is for, you know? I mean, there's a lot of stuff, you know, this place is for, but this is basically it. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this baby up because I'm already, you know, almost at my destination. So, 
I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons out there. I want to give a shout out to all my supporters. If you like, if you love this content, you already know what to do. Just check out my channel. I got uploads every day. You know, whether I'm in Cuba, whether I'm doing a live stream, whether I'm talking politics, whether I'm showing you around Merida and talking about stuff out here, all kinds of stuff. So please, you already know, if you like this content, all you got to do is please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And uh, that's it. Uh, basically, all you got to do now is stay awesome. And I'll see you guys manana. Peace.